With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello guys, so our today's question is, a sphere of mass m moving with velocity v enters a hanging bag of sand and stop. If the mass of bag is capital M and it is raised by height h, then the velocity of a sphere will be. So guys, in this question, we have been given a sphere of mass m which is moving with velocity v, it enters a hanging bag of sand and a stop. So this is basically something like this. This is our hanging bag of mass capital M and this is a sphere of mass small m which is moving with velocity v. Now when after striking this uh, sand bag, the situation will be something like this. The mass of this system when this uh, sphere goes into the uh, bag of sand so the total mass becomes small m plus capital M so after striking it raised to height of h so it will be something like this that is small m plus capital M and this height is h here now see guys by conservation of linear momentum by conservation of linear momentum momentum We can say that initial momentum, initial momentum is equal to final momentum of the system. So what is initial momentum of the system? Initial momentum of the system is mass of the sphere into velocity of the sphere. And if we talk about final momentum, the final will be m plus capital M into velocity of the system. Here, this is velocity is velocity of system. This is velocity of system. So from here, our velocity of system comes out to be small mv divided by m plus capital M. Now see guys, we have been given that after striking this, the system raised to height of h. So we can say that if the system, if the system rises up to height h, then by conservation of energy, then by conservation of energy conservation of energy we can say that initial initial energy energy initial should be equal to initial energy final so what is initial energy initial energy is the sum of initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy so initial kinetic energy is half into mass that is small m plus capital m into v square that is v of system whole square should be equal to mgh small m plus capital m into g into h so from here m plus capital m m plus capital m cancelled and we have to find the value of v here so this will be velocity of system this square that is m square v square divided by small m plus capital m whole square is equal to 2 g h so from here our v square comes out to be 2 g h small m plus capital m whole square divided by small m square so from here our velocity v comes out to be v is equals to small m plus capital m divided by small m under root of 2 g h so correct option is option a thank you guys for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.